Welcome back to Intruder Security. In the previous video, we saw how to use Google like a hacker. In this video, we will be seeing the basics of web application. These are the essentials you need to have before web application pen testing or before web development. So without wasting much time, let's get our hands dirty on web application. Let's see what all we will be covering in this video. First, we will be going through how web works. Secondly, we will be seeing the URL structure. How is the URL structured? What are its components? Next, we will be going through developer tools, more specifically the inspect elements inside browser. And at last, we will be going through the types of requests. So let's get started with our first topic, how web works. How your browser connects to the server. You must have thought about this. To know how this works, you need to know about packets. This is generally known as SYN, SYNAC, ACK, Handshake. When you try to connect to a server, your browser sends a SYN packet to the server to confirm the server is active. If the server really exists, the server responds back with the SYNAC packet saying that I am active. Then the browser again sends a packet asking the server the page you need. This type of connection is generally known as TCP handshake. Another type of handshake is UDP handshake in which the browser continuously sends SYN packet to the server until the server responds. This is generally used in live streaming. We will be more focusing on TCP handshake. Let's dive into it. Consider you asked for google.com to your browser. Your browser first goes to DNS server and asks for the IP address of the server. When we want to send a letter to someone, we should have the address of that person. Similarly, in WeWorld, your browser asks for the address of the server if it really exists. The DNS server responds back with the IP address of the server. Then the browser sends the SYN packet to the server and sees if the is live. Then the server responds back with the SYNAC packet. Again, the browser sends the SYN packet to get the HTML page. This happens in few milliseconds. That to buy your browser itself, isn't that amazing? Let's move on to the next part of the video. URL structure. You must have seen this type of URLs in your browser when visiting some domains. I don't know this URL exists or not, but let's consider this URL having youtube.com as domain Let's go one by one. First, HTTPS. It is the protocol. It is the communication way in which the website is connected. In web application, two types of protocols, HTTP and HTTPS, is used. The next part is the subdomain. In the domain name system hierarchy, a subdomain is kind of another type of domain. For example, if example.com has a normal user site and a shopping site, the example.com can create a subdomain inside their major domain for the shopping application instead of buying another domain. This helps organization to decrease unwanted domains and server costs. The domain. In the internet, a domain name is a string that identifies the IP of the hosted server. At last, the parameter and the value pair. This is generally found in get type of request. We will be discussing this in types of requests, but for now, let's see the parameter and value. You can send the data to the server by this way. The parameter is the name of the key you are sending to the server, whereas the value is the value of the key. Now let's see the developer tools. So what you can do with developer tools. In developer tools, you have your own console where you can execute your own JavaScript. You have inspect elements tab which can be used to check the HTML elements. For who don't know what HTML CSS is, HTML CSS are the codes on which whole web works. All the pages you see on your browser contains HTML and CSS codes. You even have a storage tab where you can see and edit the cookies stored inside the browser. Let's switch to the browser to see how inspect elements works. In Firefox, click on the Options tab, click on More Tools, and now click on Developer Tools. You can also press Ctrl, Shift, I to open the Developer Tools. Currently we are inside the Inspector tab which allows you see the HTML code running inside the Browser Current tab. 
You can also see the CSS applied to the HTML elements in this section. Developer Tools also allows you to edit the HTML and CSS code from the Inspector tab. Now let's see the Console tab. You can switch the tab from here. Select the Console tab. Console tab shows you all the errors and warnings happening inside the JavaScript language running on the browser. It also allows you to execute your own JavaScript code. Let's try printing something. To test JavaScript, we usually use a code which includes console.log and the string you want to print. You can see I have successfully printed intruder security. Another thing we are going through in storage tab. Let's switch the tab from console to storage. It shows you all type of storage that a browser does. Like cache, cookies, index database, local storage, and the session storage. The purpose of this storage are different. For example, cookies are used to save the preferred data and the logged user data. The local storage is used to store data having key value pairs. The developer tools also has many other tabs like debugger, network, etc. We as a security profession, most of the time we won't be using other tabs. Network tab is one of the important tab, but we will be using Burp Suite as alternative for that. Let's switch back to our next topic. Types of requests. Generally, there are many types of requests like get, head, post, put, delete, connect, options, and much more. The four major request methods we use is get, post, put, delete. So what are request methods and why are they used? Request methods is a way of connecting a front end to back end. Request methods are used to send the data from front end. That is the data given by the user. Get method. It is mostly used to retrieve some data from the server. For example, if you need the details of user having MyD32, the URL may look like this. The parameter ID having a value 32 will be displayed inside the URL. Post request, it is used to send data from the user to the server. Consider a blog writing site and you want to create a blog. You enter the title and the content and tap on send. The request may look like this. The data you entered goes into the request body and you can't see the details inside the URL. To see the request going to the server, you can go to the network tab of the browser or you can go to Burp Suite. I will be making a video on how to use Burp Suite soon. The put request is used to update the existing resources. Consider you want to update the existing blog post which we created earlier. The server may use put request to update the blog post. Delete request is used to delete resource present inside the database. The request may look like this if you want to delete a blog post. I hope I was able to explain the, the topics. If you have any feedback or doubts, you can contact me on any socials. Mail me or comment down. That's all in this video. See you in the next video soon.